In this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw a simple icon in Paint Code. Let's select the Oval tool and create an oval. I'll also remove the fill, set the stroke to gray, and make it, let's say, 9 points wide. Next, I'll duplicate the oval and contract it a bit. We'll use the smaller oval to create a shine effect in the upper left part of the icon. For this, I'll convert the oval to a bezier. Beziers can be used to draw any shape you like. Let's edit this bezier, insert two new control points, and remove unneeded segments using the contextual menu. Everything looks fine now, but the ends of this arc are a little bit too angular, so I'll make them round by using the inspector. Now I'd like to create the bottom part of the bubble using another bezier. I'll draw a triangle by simply clicking three times. Then I'll use the contextual menu to make this point round. Bezier control point handles appear, which allow me to change the shape's curvature. Finally, I just need to unite the two beziers I've just created using the union boolean operation. And that's it. Next, let me show you how to create and use colors in paint code. There are a couple of ways. You can just press the plus button in the colors header in the library. The color popover is displayed, and you can change the color as you like. You can also use this new feature of paint code too. Simply click and drag the connection dot displayed in the colors header and drop it onto a shape on the canvas. When you release the mouse button, a contextual menu appears. You can then choose the attribute that you want to connect the new color to. Here, I'll choose Fill. After that, a new color is created, and the color editing popover is displayed. I can mix my color here. The advantage of this approach is that you can create and connect the new color in a single action. Another way is to use the Inspector. In Inspector, you can click on the Fill or Stroke pop-up button, and a pop-up menu is displayed. In this pop-up menu, you turn Fill off by choosing No Fill. You can choose from predefined system colors, you can use any colors in the library, or you can click on the Add New Color menu item. Once the color has been created, you can adjust it in several ways. The first and most obvious is to use the colors library. When you double click on a color in the list, the color editing popover appears. Then you can easily change the color components. All changes are immediately visible on your canvas. Another way is to use the inspector. When I click on the fill color well, the color connected to the fill is edited. As you can see, as I'm changing this color, the color thumbnail of color 3 in the library is changing too. When a color is connected to a fill or a stroke of a shape and you want to cancel this connection, you just need to click on this little purple circle with a white cross. When you do this, the red line in the color well button will indicate there is no connection. But the color is not removed from the library. We've only removed the connection with the shape. You can do the same thing by choosing the No Fill or No Stroke option from the pop-up button in the inspector. When a color is not connected to any existing shape, the color's connection dot is empty. Colors can be rearranged in the library by dragging. When a color is being used in the canvas, and you try to delete it, a sheet is displayed that informs you that you're trying to delete the color. The sheet also shows you a list of all the shapes and other items that depend on the color you're trying to delete. When you delete such color, it will automatically be replaced by the red color on your canvas to alert you. So that's how you draw an icon and use colors in paint code. Thanks for watching.